eyes are on the trade deadline right now. We are less than two days away from it expiring, and the market is still white hot. Zach Eflin, one of those trade deadline products, is getting ready to make his Orioles debut. Eflin, the newest acquisition for the Orioles coming over from the Tampa Bay Rays. Interestingly enough, this is a rematch of last Wednesday. Eflin still with the Rays, faced off with Rodriguez, ultimately giving up two runs through five and two-thirds innings. So we'll see how he fares today. Again, a really weird, cool situation where it is a perfect rematch against Rodriguez. This time, though, Eflin is in some different threads, representing the Orioles in his first debut for the Birds. They're leading off and playing right field is George Springer. Springer hits it on the ground, past the dive of Westberg at second and into right field. And it brings up Spencer Horowitz. That is Zach Eflin at his best. Running the two-seamer to the front hip against a lefty and getting a strikeout. His first out is an Orioles. Brings up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Two strikes on Guerrero. There's another sinker down and in. That devastating late movement garners another strikeout for Zach. That's back-to-back. Yeah. -back. Dalton Varsho will try to keep the good times rolling right now. And Varsho pops up a high cutter here. Gunnar Henderson. In shallow left field, puts it away. Zach Eflin's Oriole career begins with a couple of Ks and a scoreless first. For Rodriguez in the month of July has really found his groove after his second stint on the injured list. For the second straight day, Colt Kowser's in the leadoff spot, and he begins this one with a walk. Leadoff man on base for Anthony Santander. 3-2, Kowser's going, and the pitch is in the dirt ball four. Gunnar Henderson will bat with a couple on base, and nary an out to be found. That's ball four for sure. Has loaded the bases with nobody out. And now Ryan Mountcastle trying to bring in the first run, or if not more, and that's going to do it. Center field, base hit in front of our show. Everybody had to hold up to make sure the ball wasn't caught with nobody out. So Santander and Henderson each advance a base. Kowser scores from third. Three walks, a hit, and a 1 0 lead right out of the chute. And now here comes Westberg. Swing and a bouncer, diving stop by Turner. He'll get to first for one out. A run comes in to score, but Justin Turner probably just saved extra bases and extra runs coming in with a diving play. It's later, it's second and third for Cedric Mullins. There's a hanging splitter. Mullins might want that pitch back. And now Cedric's going to go down to first. Did he just reach on another catcher's interference? Well, it must have been. So they're loaded for Urias. Urias walks in a run. 38 pitches, three runs, four walks. So James McCann, the ninth man to hit. Oh, no. Up and in, he got McCann in the helmet. It's the most painful RBI he'll ever have. He's back on his feet to an ovation from this Monday afternoon crowd. There is John Schneider walking out to the mound as well. Looks like it'll be the end of the day for Yariel Rodriguez. James McCann has taken off the jersey and there's another jersey brought out. He is trying to stay in this game after getting drilled in the face and specifically in the nose. This is like, this is the Rocky stuff. Yeah. This is what this is. You this is absolutely ridiculous. You don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't think he you wants to win. win. You don't, you think don't mess around with James McCann, You don't think he's trying to set an example for the rest of his team? That's exactly what he's doing. Well, here he comes. Listen to this ovation now. <laughs> oh, one pitch is a check swing roller to the shortstop Jimenez who steps on the bag and ends the inning. James McCann is back behind the plate. His nose plugged up after being hit in the face. Alejandro Kirk singles straight up the middle. And the one two pitch to Clement is sent into left field, and it's a base hit for Ernie. George Springer for his second at bat of this ballgame. And Springer chases a cutter. Three strikeouts in the inning. Five in the game for Zach Eflin. And speaking of trades, definitely don't want to speculate too much here until we know more. But Justin Turner is not back out on the field defensively for the Blue Jays. Ken Rosenthal just tweeted some pretty big news. He has tweeted that a source told him the Seattle Mariners have acquired Justin Turner. Spencer Horwood sends a deep fly ball to left. Oh, yeah. Colton Kowser takes it away at the very deep left field wall. And that ball is walloped to left, oh. and Kowser took away another. Back-to-back -back plays by Colton.
Kowser worthy of a golden glove. American League West. You know there'll be one out of the AL East at least. That pitch is scorched to left field and over the head of Barger rolling into the wall. Westberg around second. He stops there. Cedric Mullins yanks that first pitch to right field. Springer going back makes the catch. Westberg didn't tag initially and they might have a shot. No, he's going to slide in safe. Well, the Jays bring the infield in and here's Ramon Urias. A chopper to shortstop. Jimenez has it. He'll go to first base and it's in time there. But Westberg scores and it's 5 0 Baltimore. Alejandro Kirk steps in now. Poked on the ground. It hits the bag and bounces over Urias. Hits sharply on the ground and past the dive of Henderson. A single for Schneider and the Blue Chase have two on for the third time in four innings. Strike three, high cutter. Number six for Zach. Kowser, a little flare left center field, and there's a base hit for Colton. Right side, base hit for Henderson. Brandon Isert is out of this game, and Yerry Rodriguez makes his Blue Jays debut. Mountcastle elevates it to right field on the first pitch from Yerry Rodriguez for base hit. And they're loaded for Ryan O'Hearn. And O'Hearn drills one into center. Varshall comes sprinting in to make the catch. Kowser races home and scores standing. And the Orioles make it 6 0. And now Westberg will bat. Westberg down the left field line. Jordan Westberg off the wall. That brings in Henderson. And Mountcastle's going to be waved around third. And the throw to the plate is there to beat him. But Jordan Westberg has his second double of the game and an RBI to boot. And the Orioles get two in the fourth to make it 7 0. Now the Blue Jays have two on. Brings up Addison Barger. Addison Barger hits the first pitch. He sees to right center field. That ball is back. And it's out of here. First major league home run for Addison Barger is a moonshot to right center field. And the Blue Jays are on the board. A three run shot to finally put Toronto on the board. Snyder swung. Strike three. Seven strikeouts for Eflin. It's a man at second. Now James McCann. Out to right field from McCann. That is going to drop in for a base hit. Well deserved. Well, Kowser will now step up. Kowser powers one the other way, and Barger makes the play. Here comes another run scoring play. That is the sixth RBI without a hit today. Guy who has been red hot since June is Anthony Santanders. And that ball is clobbered. Right field. So long. The ninth one scoring plate appearance of the game. The first two RBI plate appearance of the game. And that is a big all round number. Home run number 30 for Santander. Boy, how impressive was this at bat, huh? 10 to 3 O's lead now. Vladimir Guerrero bats. Oh. Drives that ball deep to right field, going back. That ball's gone. We do have a visitor to Utah Street as Vladimir Guerrero Jr. goes the other way. And the Blue Jays strike back again. It's Guerrero's 20th homer this season. Ryan Mountcastle is next. To right from Mountcastle. That is down the line, and that ball is oh. fair. Just inside the pole. It's another Ryan Mountcastle home run against the Blue Jays. And the game remains alive for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yeah. Lines that one to right center field. That's down for a hit. Horowitz around third. He'll score. It's an RBI single for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 1 2. Left side. Nice pick by Ramon. The long throw is there. Orioles take the opener of the double dip 11 to 5.